YouTube man, welcome back to another video and today we are going to be talking about um, what's actually replacing speakers in car audio um, and is these horns. Today we're going to talk a little bit about the horns, we're going to test some horns out and maybe this video can help you decide which horns you would like to use in your build and you know what direction car audio is going with this stuff man. So for right now man, let's check these horns out. These are a few different style horns uh, that many people are using in builds, or well, at least in builds here in the area where I stay at. Um, as you can see in some of the videos that I've showed you, um, people have the stunt walls going on and man they use so many massive different horns that are actually replacing speakers. And I actually have a friend that has a Ford Expedition and all he runs is nothing but bigger style profile horns instead of actual mids and I asked him why are you using nothing but horns instead of actual mid-range or mid-bass speakers the right DSP um, the right horn and adjustments made right he can make that horn um, play just as good at that just as good as that speaker um, is that actually what's going on or is it just playing a higher you know pitch sound and he was giving me like a quick explanation of it um he was actually showing me with his truck what it could actually do and i'm not going to lie to you guys like it sounded real crystal clear and you know he was playing range he has some horns these guys right here that play like more of a like a 10 inch you know speaker sound and then he has like these guys right here playing more of like a eight and a six and then of course he has like probably a few more of these guys and a few more of these guys that play a, a, like a higher like a tweeter frequency but with so many in there like it just it's blaring but his sounds really good now my friend nino the one with the um, Tahoe that we seen the other day he has eight DS 18 12s and then I think it's like 32 of these guys the Timpanos exactly these guys right here uh, man that thing is like violent violent loud you see what I'm saying like you cannot stand directly in front of it because like you feel earwax forming in your ear and that thing is just like blaring like it is like ridiculous violent loud friend with the expedition it sounds really good and it does hurt when you stand in front of it but it's more of a you know like a real nice sounding um, sound system it sounds really good but it's actually you know it's loud like crazy but it's not violent like my friend Nino's with that Tahoe and if I'm correct my friends actually running like 32 of these guys right here he just bought them by the boxes and he loaded them up and he has one row with 3,000 watts on one row another row with 2000 watts and then another row with 800 watts but each one of them is playing a different frequency so it gives them a nice wide of uh, different frequencies so it like fills in all the gaps um, and of course he's got it connected to DSPs um, but that thing hurts really bad so you know he only has I think 8 12 DS18s for mid bass but he actually replaced like doing 8s and 6s and everything with the horns um, same thing with my other friend with the Expedition. He replaced all the mids completely to just nothing but horns. And here we actually have a few sets of horns that we will be testing here momentarily. So you can see uh, the different sounds that each one of them make because every single horn um, is specific for something. Like, you know, you can use this guy uh, for, you know, that strong, deep, you know, uh, horn sound frequency this guy right here is ear piercing um, this is you can make this guy play like a horn sound and a little bit of tweeter um, same thing as this guy you know these are more 
of the you know normal you know build type of horns and these guys right here if you want to try to shut the the block down you see what i'm saying the giveaway for the md3000.1 is active and is live man go get entered i made a few adjustments to the entries i had made a small error but you know i ended up fixing it um and i think it's ready to rock and roll it is very good um man get your tickets now all the information you need to know is in the description of the video um, and you see in the quick little flyer in the beginning it, it does end uh, at the end of the month I think on the 31st um, so get your tickets in um, good luck and thanks for supporting the hustle now back to the video here we have different horns with different lenses on them uh, man these shorter guys right here man that's just like if you're standing really close to the truck these things are gonna like scream and talk to you um, same thing with this guy if you were to put this guy uh, closer range with this big old magnet like you're gonna hear that voice directly right off the bat um, <clears throat> These guys are the lenses are pretty much made and the horn driver Is made so you can put these in door panels now You can probably put these in door panels too But you better go ahead and make sure you brace it really good on the door panels We are building for the f-150. We're actually putting one on each door and we got to make sure that thing is solid If not man, that's a lot of weight. This thing is heavy guys these definitely are never going in a door panel. Let's just be honest. Um, these as well too, never going in a door panel. These will go nice in like stunt walls or wall panels. Um, but these are more than likely you can put in door panels. So we have our tone generator today and we are going to go ahead and test out a few of these horns and we are going to see what they do. So drop some comments. Let me know which one do you think is going to be the loudest one. Um, I'm going to go with this guy. But you never know, this guy may be loud too. We already know what some what this guy does, but you know I I'm gonna go with this guy. But don't be surprised at that. Right, let's get it. Whoa. So this one does not actually like higher frequencies. More in the lower end, it it does good. You know, so this one's actually more made for deeper vocals. Okay, now let's go to the next one. This is a favorite among stunt wall people, so let's hear what it does. Volume's all the way down, frequency's all the way up. Let's do it. Okay. We just seen why my friend's truck, like it hurts. You know, this actually is aggressive on higher frequency. Uh, like this thing like on the higher frequency notes man this thing is a monster low frequency not that much but that makes sense why my friend's truck like man that thing hurts you know on that higher frequency level man that's always going to hurt your ear um high frequency yes mid frequency uh, not so much now on to the next one And this one is just pretty much like an average. It doesn't do no good on either end. Um, it's it's all right, but it's not the greatest thing in the world. And this is a PRV. Um, high range, it doesn't really do much. Low range, it really doesn't do much. Um, like I said, these are just a little bit more designed so you can put them in door panels and stuff like that. Um, you know, that's just my honest opinion on this guy. It didn't really give me a wow factor on it. So, I mean, like I said, door panel good to try to flex and stunt and be loud, not so much. This big boy right here, good lord, this thing is huge. Uh, this is actually a JBL selenium horn. Let me just get this thing back. Okay, this is actually a JL selenium horn with a DS18 lens on it. Uh, let's see what it do. My honest opinion on this big boy right here, um, high frequency, not so much. Mid frequency, it does have a strong mid to it. Um, I just feel that the only good thing about this is you could be able to put more power on this guy versus having this guy right here. 
You see what I'm saying? So obviously if you put more power, it's going to be louder. But in you know reality speaking, it's really not that loud. It'll probably really just define the sound a little bit better and give you like a stronger vocal. But I feel that, you know, this guy is louder than this guy. You see what I'm saying? Um, I could be wrong, but this is just what I'm going from actually hearing these guys in front of me with my tone generator. If you were to do a stunt wall, I feel a combination of both of these guys right here would be the ticket because I would play these guys to play that strong, hard frequency, like the higher frequency, almost like tweeter, just a higher pitch that would like destroy your ears and having this guy play more of a mid, um, it would like really fill in that gap. Now, if you really want to go the extra mile, put this one for your, your higher frequency. This one's kind of like a semi-mid frequency. And this one's like a real low mid frequency. And those three right there would act crazy. Um, some people would probably just do all horns, but I would mix it up with like some 10s, uh, some 8s, and maybe some 12s. And that would give you a ridiculous stunt. Down wall. in the comments, so let me know what you think about these horns. Um, let me know if you guys got stunt wall, you know, battles going on where you guys think, yeah, man, here it's heavy, guys. Like, it's ridiculous here. Um, and this is just a little bit of information, you know, that I, you know, keep on learning. The thing with car audio, man, like something new comes out every single day, you know, people push the limits. Um, and it's just information that I am learning to pass on to you guys. Um, maybe you guys want to be the first one in your city with a crazy stunt wall. And maybe this, hill, this video will help you, you know, be that person. Car audio and, you know, technology um, and people's creativity, you know, keep expanding, man. Car audio is just going to keep going crazy. You know, I'm seeing a lot now. Uh, demo vehicles with bass in them, man, they're loading up their doors with mids and highs. Uh, some people are getting stunt walls. Some people are loading up uh, side doors with mids and highs. Man, it's getting crazy, um, and it's a little bit good to see videos like this so you can see what each horn does because going out there and buying all these horns and then expecting it to be loud, and then, you know, you pulling up next to somebody that has something else going on and hearing how loud they are, you're going to be like, dang, I really need those. So now you spent a little bit more money uh, than what you should have if you just would have bought something else. So I hope the, today's video helped you out. Uh, now I know what combination to go to when we start going uh, into detail with our stunt wall for our next project. You know, we're going to experiment a, a little bit more um, so we can actually get a really badass stunt wall going for our very next project. That's it for today, man. I hope you guys have a good Friday. Uh, giveaway is active, man. Enter if you want to. Um, man, thank you for those who join and support the, the, the movement. Um, I wish you guys the best luck. Have a good Friday night. Um, today's the anniversary for me and my wife being married. Uh, we're going to go out to dinner later on. And you can probably catch that on my Life, Life of Mousetrap YouTube channel. Um, check it out. Subscribe to the channel. Subscribe to this channel. And I'll catch you guys on the next one.